Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today is a microcap tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use a new technique. It's called the slider. It's a little bit like the step technique where you can take the value of a component and step it to different values and watch all the different curves kind of pile up. This is like it but different. Okay, It's kind of a real-time thing where you can slide the thing, change the value of the component, and watch what happens real time. So it's pretty cool. Now we're going to use a 555 timer, which is a you know a very common component in electronics today, has been for years. And we'll talk about that briefly while we're doing this, so you can kind of understand what the circuit's doing in the first place, in case you haven't used a 555 timer. And if you want to see where that is in the library, I'm going to show it to you. So. Let's jump over the video, take a look. Okay, here we are in MicroCap. We're going up here to the help menu. And we're gonna to go to uh, search sample circuits. And we're gonna type in 555 for 555 timer. And you have both versions, uh, you know, depending on how you connect it, A stable or mono stable. We'll just go for the A stable version, load that in. Okay, there's the schematic. I can come up here, hit that button right up here, and it sizes the window. We got this parameter statement. I'll move this up, resize the window so it'll get a little bit bigger. There we go. And this talks about uh, this macro, this parameter statement is set up. The 555 macro is set to 5 volts, but this parameter statement is setting, we've got 10 volts here, so VDD is equal to 10 volts. And it's just modifying the model of the 555 to run on 10 volts instead of 5 volts. Okay, now here's the 555. There's this voltage divider. It sets up a couple different time constants. Now this configuration right here threshold and trigger tied together sometimes you know in the mono stable you have those connected differently here this capacitor and this resistor is tied between this discharge one so at some point this is going to trip and it'll tell this thing to discharge that capacitor okay i'm going to show you a block diagram of a 555 when that discharges, it pulls this signal down to ground. When it does that, this capacitor discharges to the 3K. So the time constant is, hey, look at this. This is a no-no. There's not a zero in front of that decimal. So it's kind of hard to see. It looks like 15 microfarads, right? It's actually 0 0.15. All right, so you got this time constant, 3K and a 0 0.15 microfarad. And that's uh, the rate of discharge. When it charges, it charges this 10 volt. It has 5 plus 3, so that's 8K in this capacitor. So that's a longer time constant. Okay, let's go look at the block diagram real quick. All right, guys, here is our block diagram. Um, this is all internal to the chip. We have a resistor divider and two comparators. One is uh, looking at the threshold and one is looking at the trigger. In our case, we've tied the six and the two together. So we're tying those so they're monitoring the same voltage point. One, the threshold is comparing to a little higher voltage and the trigger is comparing it to a little bit lower voltage on this voltage divider. Okay, now this discharge is going through a transistor with the open collector so when we tie this to our capacitor, well actually to the resistor, it, the discharges the capacitor to the resistor, it goes through this down to one. So pin seven is tied pin one, okay? And that's when this is high. The voltage right here is high. And see the bubble here? That means this is an inverter, so that'll be low when this guy's being discharged, okay? All right, so Let's go back to our circuit. All right, we're back at our circuit. Let's run a uh, transient analysis. So I come up here, analysis, see transient. We're gonna go ahead and select this guy right here. Now this 
transient in this AC analysis is one where it's pre-set up compared to these probe versions, right? So let's go ahead and run this guy because it's all set up for us. And we're going to look at the V out and we're going to look at the Voldron C1. These guys both say one right here, so they're going to be on the same graph. And this is the, the range on our X and our Y value. And here's our runtime up here, okay? And temperature set up, so it's all set up for us. So let's hit the run, and there we go. Okay, this is the output. The V out's down here, the black, and there we go. And the red one is the voltage on the capacitor. The capacitor charges up. At a certain point, it trips the output, discharges, and then trips the output again and it charges and then it continues to do this okay so here let's come up here see this where we put our two panes or two windows next to each other hit that now we got our schematic and our circuit that's the voltage across the capacitor and the voltage at the output if we wanted to look at this voltage too then we'd have to set that up in that window so that it would also select this to show us over here. But we can run the other type of analysis where we come all the way down here to probe transient and then nothing set up, it just runs it. Now it's ready already. So let's hit the output. Okay, there's the output. There's that. So now we're back to where we were before. But now we can also hit this one. And you can see this green guy up here. Here, let me get rid of the other two so you can see it all by itself, so you can see the difference. Okay, let me hit the voltage on the capacitor. All right, so now you can see um, this voltage here all by itself. Voltage at node two. Voltage at node two. And that's what that looks like. So that's the discharge. When that discharges, it pulls this cap down, right? So let's go look at this guy again. See when it pulls down, you can see it's discharging the capacitor. See this rate here? This discharge rate is faster because it's the 3K times this capacitor. And when it charges, it's a little slower because it's coming through here and it's 8K times this capacitor. So what if we change this capacitor here? We're going to change the rise time at 8k times a different value and we're also going to change the fall time okay so let's come up here and we go to probe and see down here the slider let's add a slider here's c1 we're going to change c1 it's already set up for us and we're going to change the value of it and we're going to go from minimum value to max and step size 10% increments or 10% resolution or whatever. And default is this value, 150 nano. We're going to do it linearly. And yeah, so it's the parameter type, it's a component. So let's just go ahead and do that. Say, okay. Now look over here on the far right. See this little slider right here? If I just click on that, I can pull it up. And down, look at the waveform on the left changing. If I go smaller capacitor, see how fast it is? If I go bigger capacitor. Now as I change it, like right there, you can see here's my range, 300 to 75. And here's the value that's sitting at right now, 225. Okay. So there you go. That's the slider. Now, you could come in here and change the value of this resistor or this one. Or you could add more than one slider. You can move around the capacitor. Then you could slide one of these resistors around. So, yeah, you've got a lot of options. And you can play around and, you know, get a better feel for how your circuit works. You can check sensitivity of a certain component. Uh, you can do a lot of different things with it. So, yeah, have fun. Hope you like this and hope this was useful. All right, so what do you think of the slider? That's pretty neat, right? Uh, that's a pretty kind of tricky way to fine tune something if you want or 
just to get a feel how the circuit works um, and different types of circuits. It might help you find sensitivity and you know so there's a lot of different ways you can use it and let me know what you think. Uh, give me your comments down below. Give me ideas you want to try and if you want to see more about 555 timers let me know that too. All right. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Two thumbs up to my patrons. Really appreciate you guys. And thanks for all you guys showing up watching the video. We'll see you next time.